Hey everyone, KIC here, doing a little jewelry store heist. Yeah, we're not doing a smash and grab because this is a stealth run, and it's basically uh, shares a lot of similarities with the Ukrainian job because that's the same map, but it also shares a lot of similarities with the diamond store heist because the diamond store heist is basically the jewelry store heist only on steroids. So that, of course, should mean that this one is that much easier, and yet, I still find ways to screw it up because I try to do things too quickly. But, we'll go ahead and take care of the first guard. Yeah, I'm just watching the clock. I've actually done this one before without even taking care of the guards outside and stealth the whole thing, but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and take them out this time around. And the other one is way down there, so let's go ahead and take him out too. Uh, not sure. Uh, if it happens again, you could worry about it. All right, that guy kept walking, so no problem. Okay, just gonna drop this body off, then we need to make an entrance into the building, and that's it right there. Sometimes you get a safe in this room, no safe this time around, so just go ahead and take care of these people here. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Here's my usual disclaimer, I try not to shoot the civilians. Uh, that guy, I wasn't expecting him to be running by at that moment, so I just kind of have an itchy trigger finger, and sorry guy. Okay, someone sees something. That's not good. Oh, that's going to be outside. That's really not good. Okay, this dude's cowering. Good deal. Uh, unfortunately, I think I need to get rid of him just because he's outside and I can't really control who walks by. And conveniently enough, that trash can actually opens, so in goes his body and no one will ever know. Okay, it's time to just get everyone down and uh, start grabbing some jewels. Well, I guess technically jewelry, it's not jewels. Hey, what's up with the itchy trigger finger? Okay, the problem with all these people this close is of course they'll be seen, so yeah, it's time to break my try not to kill civilians rule. Big time. I think that one'll actually be okay, so I'll leave her. But he is a little too close. Ah oh, crap. Guy across the street. Uh, yeah, this gets more interesting. Yeah, the one on the left is a cop over by the hot dog cart, so... Uh, tie them down for the time being. I'll probably have to kill them, though. Alright, I don't see anyone else out here, thankfully. Ah, uh, spoke too soon. Man, this is getting ugly. Well, at least I don't have to worry about this guy when I run out of the building now, because he's usually standing around on a phone for quite a while. Man, so many bodies. Really not what I wanted to do. So these just all need to be stored out of the way. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to take care of these guys, and I do. So just kill them, throw their bodies behind the counter. But, at this point, I can at least start taking everything, so it's basically grab everything, throw it in bags, run it outside, and uh, try not to get caught. Seems like I'm never close enough to the stupid cases to smash them. 
always swing in more than once with the gun. And yet, look how far you can grab a necklace from. I don't get it. So I think that's most of them. Just got a couple more cases left to check over here. I don't see a cash register, so just grab this last set of jewelry that needs to be bagged, and then I think it's time to start taking it out. Oh, got a guy coming on the left, but it's alright, he won't see anything. I think my detection rating right now is 6 with this particular setup, so I have quite a bit of leeway when it comes to running around. Okay, I'm still just playing it a little safe, but you never know. As with all bag hauling, this goes so much faster if you're playing with other people, but uh, then of course you have the sometimes added difficulty of coordinating people, like if you're playing a pickup game, that sort of thing. You never know what people are going to be like and what their style is, but yeah, this could definitely go a lot faster than me running back and forth by myself, but hey, that's what a solo run is, right? Okay, there's a guy on the right, so I'm just watching him. Looks like we're going to be okay here. Holy shit. Yeah, he's... Now, he might... No, okay. I'm going to say he might see that person tied up in front, but the other one didn't, so then he shouldn't either. So never mind that. Just a couple more to go. You know what? That one didn't actually land in the truck because it didn't save. It didn't add the loot. So, yeah. See, or van. Excuse me, not truck. There you go. Anyway, last one. Throw it in, and that is a successful stealth heist. Prior to recording this one, I think I failed four or five of them in a row because, as I said when I was starting out, I sometimes go a little too fast, and I was just trying to blaze through everything and. It was one failure after another. It was pretty embarrassing. Look at that. So close to 70. Ah, so close yet so far. But that's it for the jewelry store heist. Hope you guys had fun watching. Check out some more videos. See you later.